Welcome to the Armani Talks podcast. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this podcast, I'm helping you level up your five soft skills, public speaking, storytelling, social dynamics, emotional intelligence, and creativity. Five soft skills for you to change your life forever and skyrocket your confidence along the way. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to always be on time. There's this famous quote that goes like this. If you're on time, that means you're late. If you're five minutes early, That means you're on time. You want to know one thing that I'm never late for? Whenever I have a flight, let's say I have a flight at 6 p.m. I know damn well I'm going to be at the airport by 3 p.m. Let's say I'm traveling to Texas and I'm about to leave from Texas back to Tampa. My hosts are like, all right, Armani, since your flight is at 6 p.m., I guess we'll drop you off at 4.30 p.m., maybe 5 You'll have an hour to check in. I'm like, hell no, man. I'm going to go at least from 2 to 3 p.m. I need a couple of hours for one main reason. Paranoia. I have no clue what happens if you miss your flight. I get it. You miss your flight. But do you get your money back? I mean, do you now have to uh, go back to your host and say, Hey guys, I know we just had this long goodbye a couple of hours ago, but I missed my flight. You mind if I could stay with you for another night so we could have another long drawn out goodbye tomorrow? I don't know what's going to happen if I miss this flight. And due to this paranoia, I don't miss flights. It's never happened. This is the ingredient in order to be on time all the time. You need some kind of paranoia. And I'm going to illustrate this for you right now. How often are you late to the job that you currently have? If you've been in the job for a couple of years, chances are you're late a lot of times. You may have gotten the rhythm of when your other employees are going to be in the location. And you know what you can get away with. You're like, look, I know I'm supposed to be uh, there by 9 a.m., but I found out it doesn't hurt if I get there at 9.30 a.m. You're willing to be late because you've been in this job for a long period of time and there's no paranoia. But imagine a different scenario. Imagine that you are currently out of a job and you've been desperately looking for a job for the past six months, but each month you're met with rejections. Finally, by month seven, there's a potential employer that calls you and says, okay, this Friday, we need you to be here by 2 p.m., but preferably by 1.45 p.m., because the person that you're going to be meeting with is going to be the guy that most likely is going to hire you or decline you, and this person loves people who are early. Now there's pressure. And because you've been out of the job for a couple of months now, and you are finally being given that opportunity. Due to this pressure, you're not going to show up exactly at 1.45 uh, p.m. Instead, you're going to time it out in a certain way where you show up at 1.35 p.m., 10 minutes early. There's going to be paranoia in your mind. You think, well, what if on that particular day, there's a big accident? I got to prepare for that. What if I am uh, getting to my car and there's a bird that just poops on me? You know, if that happens, I should be prepared for that. What if my car stops working? I should be prepared for that. Scratch that. I'm not going to show up at 1.35 p.m. I'm going to show up by 1.20 p.m. I'm going to be super early just because I'm paranoid. And since I'm early, That automatically means I am on time. Paranoia is the main ingredient in determining whether or not you're going to be on time. If you don't have paranoia in regards to the task, then you're going to accept being late. But if you have paranoia in regards to the task, because there's a lot of pressure involved, then you will always be early. And some say being early is being on time. Uh, Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks podcast, and I'll catch you next time.